as we pray, know that God is able to meet your needs. Know that He is able to meet your needs. Father, we come before you right now in the name of your Son, Jesus. We come declaring that you are God, that you are sovereign, that you rule heaven and earth. All belongs to you. You have no equal. There is no one who is greater than you. Not the devil. Not world political leaders, not criminals, there is no one greater than you. And Father, you are the one who declares in your word that all things work together to those who love you and are called according to your purpose. That you are the only one who can take good, bad, and indifferent and work it all together to serve your purpose so that you would receive the glory and so that we as your people would be edified, so that we would be built up, so that we could be strengthened, so that we could accomplish the very purpose for which you created us. Father, we declare that you are able. Yes. You are more than able yes. to meet all of our needs. You are more than able to provide everything that we need. You have your own economic system. You have your own health care system. You have your own witness protection system. You have your own law enforcement system. Father, you have your own military system. You have your own kingdom. Your kingdom is eternal. Your kingdom never ends. Your kingdom can never fail. And you have called us through your son to be citizens of your kingdom. And so we thank you, Lord, that no matter what we are going through in this life, that you are able that you are able to deliver us, that you are able to bring us through, that you are able to bring relief, that you are able to bring transformation, that you are able to bring deliverance, that you are able, you are able, and you are able, Lord God. That when it looks like evil is winning, when it looks like darkness is overtaking everything, when it looks like the bad guys are, are, are winning. You are able. For you always rule from a place, a seat of victory. Yes. So Father, we ask that you would increase our faith. Thank you, Jesus. 
that to be able to trust you and rely on you. Thank you, Lord. No matter the circumstance, you will often, before you change the circumstance, you will work on changing us. Because you know that our greatest need is not money, though you provide it. Our greatest need is not physical health, though you give healing. Our greatest need is not a career, though you bless with jobs. Our greatest need is not a dream home, though you provide homes. Our greatest need is not designer clothes, though you give us clothes on our backs. Our greatest need is not a smorgasbord of food, though you give us food to eat. But our greatest need is to, to know your son. For you declare that eternal life is to know you, our Heavenly Father, and to know the one that you have sent, your only begotten Son. And that it is in that relationship that we find fulfillment, that we find our purpose, that we find provision, that when we receive you, we receive everything that we need. Yes. For you, yourself, are in fact the reward. Yes. So Father, help us to trust you. Help us, help us. Help us to rely on you. Yes. Help us to seek your face. Yes. Help us to eat your word. Yes. And help us to realize that you are the only one greater than mine. And now we say by faith. By faith. We thank you for hearing our prayers. We thank you for hearing our prayers. And by faith. And by faith. We claim the victory. We claim the victory. Right now. 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 In the marvelous, wonderful, majestic, awesome, matchless name of Jesus the Christ. Our Lord and Savior and soon coming King, we say, Amen. Amen. Now unto God who is able to keep us from falling, who is able to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding great joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and Thank you.